This might seem like a really, really simple thing to make and not worth a video, but there is a really important key step here that is often omitted for most guac recipes, which is to use your molcajete to grind up your heat source, your onion and cilantro to kind of really get those essential oils extracted, really build a base. It is such a deceptively simple technique, but one that really has humongous implications for a really, really quality guac. Um, I'm using some classic standards here. I've got some beautiful Haas avocados, a white onion, cilantro, serrano, lime, and salt. That's it. So to start, I'm gonna take my white onion and do a small dice on this. I'm gonna use some of it for the paste, and then I actually really like the texture of onion to be incorporated in it from like a, just like a crunch level. So I'll put a little bit to the side that I'll finish it off with so you've got some whole chunks. I'm gonna continue with my serrano here. Normally I would do a really, really small chop on this, but in this case, because we're gonna do this mortar and pestle method and kind of create a paste, I'm just gonna do a rough chop on it. And I actually like my guac a little bit spicier, so I'm gonna keep the seeds in there. I'm gonna cut up my lime. So now I'm gonna do my cilantro. I'm gonna kinda of just do that cigar method here and do a chiffonade of sorts. Last but not least, I'm gonna take my avocados and just have them. Okay, I'm gonna start by building my paste. There's nothing more simple than a molcajete made from volcanic rock. It's a wonderful way to kind of just get a beautiful textural quality from any salsas that you're making. So I've got my one full serrano. I'm gonna do half the amount of onions here and half of my, uh, my cilantro here, stems and all. Go nuts with the stems, so much flavor in there. I do like to add a little bit of lime to start. It kind of just gets the juices flowing. All right, so I've got my salt, cilantro, onions, serranos in here, and a little bit of lime juice, and I'm gonna create a bit of a paste. The salt acts as sort of an abrasive element to extract some additional flavor from these ingredients in here. I'm going to now add my avocado directly to the mix here. Uh, I'm not even gonna cut it, I'm just gonna take these directly out of the halves here. I'm gonna mash this up with the tejolote. As all simple things are, controversial on how much mashing you need to do. I think that there's occasions for all types of mash. Sometimes I'm in a chunky mood, sometimes I'm in a really pureed mood. I'm gonna go for kind of a little bit of a mix up between those today. Let's do a quick taste. Yeah, the salt that I added earlier wasn't enough to season, so I'm gonna definitely start with a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add my onions for texture. And then I'm actually gonna put all this cilantro because I don't have an aversion to cilantro. And to serve this up, you can use chips. So we're gonna actually just use some uh, day-old tortillas that we've made into tostadas on the comal. All right, let's give it a try. So simple, so good. Mocajete, guacamole. Don't forget to make the paste. Enjoy it.